Since December 29th, 2022, Andrew Tate has surely kept his followers on the edge of their seats. On that day, Tate was detained in his Romanian mansion. Local media sites said that Tate was arrested on allegations that included rape, human trafficking, and money laundering. However, the allegations of money laundering were merely suppositions until recently. The Romanian news outlet DG24, however, has thrown a bomb on Andrew Tate. Apparently, prosecutors have a tape in which Tate allegedly confesses to the charges against him. Andrew and his Tate's angels were accused of forcing women to engage in pornographic activities on their websites. Not only did the Tate brothers coerce the women, but according to reports, Top G and Tristan also branded them. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at Andrew Tate leaked jail phone call, exposed fake. Yeah, you heard it right. According to the article, Tate branded the model's posteriors with a tattoo. Some ladies also claimed that they were not permitted to take time off and were required to work non-stop. In the course of their investigation, the prosecution also attained a wiretap in which Tate discusses business tactics. In the latter half of 2022, all social media networks banned Andrew Tate. Tate's allegedly misogynistic remarks have been attributed to quotes that have surfaced. Tate spoke on Piers Morgan's podcast before his arrest when he defended his remarks. However, he had been on the radar of Romanian authorities since early 2022. In April 2022, officials questioned the Tate brothers after two women alleged that they were abducted. Andrew and Tristan allegedly withheld them without their consent. At the time, no charges were brought against Tate, so the incident had little impact. However, the recent arrest of the Tate brothers implies that the Romanian police may have significant evidence against them. The recent disclosure in the wiretap transcripts is another evidence that the walls may be closing in on the former Big Brother participant. However, there are also doubts about the accuracy of the transcription. The report just includes quotes and not the actual audio. Therefore, there is no way to confirm the report's veracity. In certain situations, Andrew Tate has conceded that the webcam service was a fraud. He disclosed that the models were created to exploit guys. Andrew disclosed it's a complete con. The model is merely touching a keyboard that is not even plugged in. I have professionals who are fluent in English working behind the scenes to hook men, discover their interests, and learn the name of their dog. When a man logs on, they'll ask, how's Sparky? These males are recruited by a team of pros. Tate, an influential misogynist, and his brother Tristan have been arrested on charges of sex trafficking and organized crime. Following their arrest last month, the two remain in detention, with an appeal hearing scheduled for tomorrow. It is said that the pair would coerce women into generating sexual content for internet sale. The Romanian media now alleges that text message transcripts illustrate how the Tates reportedly held hostage women under their control and threatened them. The texts were included in the dossier being prepared against the Tate family by DICOT, the Romanian Organized Crime Investigating Unit. Supposedly, the transcripts from a WhatsApp group in which Tate, his lieutenants, and several of his alleged victims participated. In one exchange published by the Romanian news outlet, Gandul, a young woman, begs Tate for permission to go. Tate allegedly informed her that she could not go without one of his trusted staffers. She wrote, Why are you so cold to me? Tate answered, Do not leave the house alone without informing me. No more malls or supermarkets from now on. I told you I wanted to travel alone, she said. Tate then responded that this was the woman's last warning, according to the transcripts. Andrew Tate boasts in other messages contained in the document that he's the boss of the Romanian operation. A woman asked Tate, I heard you run the OnlyFans and TikTok Checks business. Tristan and Georgiana Nagel are there, but I guide them, he said. As one of Tate's angels, Nagel was apprehended alongside Tate and Tristan. According to other transcripts provided by Romania TV, Nagel allegedly threatened one of the ladies. Another transcript contains text from Tate's other arrested angel, Luana Radu. She seems to criticize one of the victims for stating that they're too exhausted to work. Tate and his brother are being kept in a hellhole Romanian jail cell until the end of January, as prosecutors have stated that they have been remanded for 30 days. Tomorrow, the Tate brothers will appear in court to contest the seizure of some of their possessions, including 11 luxury vehicles. They're also likely to appear in court in Bucharest to argue the judge's decision to extend their arrest warrants for an additional 30 days. Tate attempted to refute the allegations, claiming that he was caught by the Matrix operatives following his imprisonment. Tate uses the term Matrix to allude to the establishment, which he believes is trying to get him. 
Eugene Vidinac, the Tate's attorney, gave a lengthy interview to the Romanian news portal Gandul in which he maintained the brothers' denial of any involvement and defended their innocence. He disclosed that both Tate children were born in Romania, and he argued that the brothers' social media posts should not be used against them since they portray characters online. We live in a 2023 reality in which different people advertise themselves on social media as characters pushing an image, a product, a concept, or a current, he said. However, he added that the Tate's online presence is not entirely fabricated. Controversial Tate first rose to prominence after a brief appearance on Big Brother. After online evidence of him allegedly assaulting a woman surfaced, he was fired from the reality show. Since then, he has incited disgust and indignation with a flood of internet content. Tate, who was born in Washington, D.C., was accused of fostering hatred against women as he gained his reputation. In 2017, the influencer is banned from Twitter for breaking the platform's rules of service with his provocative remarks. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.